Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install a custom ROM on a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and uh, Samsung Galaxy Note Edge. Uh, they're very similar phones. Uh, I think they came out in 2013, 13, 14. Um, now this has been an incredible phone. This was the one with the curved screen. So this was the one with the Note Edge. As you may see, that that's a different ROM that I've already got on my phone. So um, I'm going to show you how to install um, a Lineage OS 15.1, which is uh, Android 8 Oreo. Uh, at the moment, I'm running Android 10. So I'll show you that right now. So if you go into settings, go into about phone. And as you can see, it should say Android 10. Oh, come on. Here we go. So it's running Android 10 at the moment, which is um havoc os as you can see here now the reason i'm downgrading is because um i'm using this phone primarily as a media unit and i use it as a, a rooted phone to run different features on my android auto um so the issue that i'm having since i installed this uh this rom is that it's not launching uh my android auto so i'm a bit annoyed with that overall i really like this rom it's super quick, super fast, and uh, the only disappointing thing is the Android Auto is not running. Now, you, your phone does not have to be rooted for you to install any ROMs. All you need is TWRP recovery. Um, <clears throat> I won't show you how to do, install the TWRP recovery because there's a million videos on YouTube already. Now, for your any ROM, uh, they normally don't come with Google Apps, so you, you would have a separate set of apps is called G app. So you would also need that. Uh, in this case, let me show you. Um, and especially with Note 4 and Note Edge, you are in luck because we have memory card uh, spot where I've got my memory card here. And as you can see, and I've got my folder here, there, and these are my ROMs in there. So I can actually install these ROMs from straight from my memory card. Uh, the reason you want to have memory card because we need to wipe the phone completely before we do it do a clean um uh, there's a dirty uh flash and there's called a clean uh, flash so we're gonna do the clean flash we're gonna wipe everything off um in the internal memory but we're gonna leave the sd card so that way uh we still have our files in there so we would have let me show you so in here let's say we got our lineage where is it Oreo, where are you? Here we go, Lineage OS Oreo, and you we have your um, your G apps and your Magisk as well. And Magisk is what we're going to use to root the phone later, but I won't be showing you how to root the phone in this video. I'll show you that in the next video. So to get started, first of all, obviously you need to download these files, and my particular model is SMN. Uh, 15j they have different vari variants for different countries but i'll show you how to find yours so you take the battery out and then you have a look there under the battery and it should show you right there smn915j and that's what you're looking for and you want to download the corresponding file do that do not try to flash any other files on your phone because it may break your phone and uh, that being said, please do all of this on your own risk. You know, I won't be responsible for any of the broken or um, brick devices. This video is for educational purposes only. So I'm only saying it because it seems like every other YouTuber is doing these disclaimers. So they probably know something that I don't. So I better cover myself. Anyway, so now we're going to go into the recovery mode, which is TWRP. And for in order to get there, what you need to do is... Um, uh, press and hold the power button, home button, and the volume up button when your phone is off. So we're gonna press and hold them, wait for it to vibrate once, and it's there we go. So now we are in Team Win Recovery Project. So this is called TWRP. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe, we're gonna click on Advanced, and then you wanna select. Telvic system data internal and cache leave memory uh, SD card and USB storage alone and then we're just gonna swipe to wipe the phone 
So this is going to wipe the OS and everything. Do not reboot your system. Go back and go back one more step using the navigation buttons. Then we're going to click format data in here. Click type in yes and then click the, uh, the blue button. And then we go back again and then we go back, back. And now we're going to click on install. Now in here, you need to find your storage. You're going to select storage. Yeah. You're going to select your memory SD. You're going to click OK. And it would probably be first thing in your like main folder, the root folder. And in here, you want to find uh, your storage first. Sorry. And down here, you want to find the folder where you've kept your files. So I've got my lineage US Oreo. And here is my file. And you can uh, just slide and flash it and wait for it to happen. There we go. Uh, the system is already installed, so it didn't take very long. Uh, now, don't reboot uh, your phone or anything yet. Just go back. Now we're gonna install um, the G apps. I will I will try to upload these files on the on my Google Drive and give you guys a direct link to download them. But if I can find another link, I'll probably put that up there as well. Um, now with the G apps, you just gotta remember um, that Node 4 and Node Edge, they ran on a different architecture. They were called ARM architecture, not ARM64. So when you go to, even if you just Google, you know, uh, G apps, and it would take you to the page where you would have a few different categories. You might say ARM and then ARM64. All you gotta select is ARM because this is an ARM um, architecture, not ARM64. And then you select the exact same Android version. So it would have Android 10, 9, 8, or 7, whatever your Android version is next to it. So this is Android 8. So we'll select Android 8. And then it would show you the different packages next to it. It would have like Aroma or Super or uh, or stock i would say just go with the stock because it would give you the similar apps as uh, pixel oh looks like it's done so let's reboot our phone all right it's booted here we go. So let's go into the settings first to show you. So if you go into settings, go into system, about phone, and as you can see, we are running Android 8 Oreo. And we can get out of here. So this was this has been the most stable ROM that I've used and as you can see Google Play Store is installed so with that now you can download any apps you want from Google Play with this one now I will end this video right here if you want to know how to root this phone please stick around I will leave the in uh, the link in the description of the video how to root this phone um, so um, because I didn't want to make this video too long and that would be another short video so yeah so i'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to know how to root the phone and yeah i'll see you in that one you guys have a good day it's black and white.